Shalom family. So some of you will have known about this, some of you might not, so I thought let me touch on it again quickly. Why does the moon rust? The moon is literally rusting. So while the moon is airless, research is now indicating the presence of hematite, a form of rust that normally requires oxygen and water. And apparently, our scientists are very puzzled. Acts 2 verse 20. The sun will be turned into darkness and the moon into blood. Greek word here, haima. Now the interesting thing is, haima is the same Greek word used for hematite. Hematite gets its name from the Greek word haima, which means blood. So the same word from this prophecy is what they are referring to is on the moon at the moment, making it rust. Hematite, haima, blood, Acts 2 verse 20, the same. Coincidence? I think not. Acts 2 verse 20, New King James Version. The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the coming of the great and awesome day of the Lord. Strong's Concordance says the Greek word here, haima, blood. It's a noun. The transliteration, the phonetic spelling is haima, haima, blood. Especially being used in instances of shed blood, which makes us think of the shed blood of Messiah. And this takes us straight through to Acts 2 verse 20. When we think about the moon turning to blood. So the important thing for me to double back to here is. It says the sun shall be turned into darkness. And the moon into blood. Before the coming of the great and awesome day of the Lord. Now what they're referring to here is the day of the Lord. When he returns with his bride. In final judgment at the end of the final week to wrap things up. Now yes, it could supernaturally pick up speed and the entire moon could rust, right? Confusing scientists everywhere and letting their little pea brains explode. Or it could just be supernatural, which I lean very heavily toward. So yes, this is amazing and exciting that we see this happening in these word connections. And it could be that the Lord will use this rust accelerated over the tribulation period to eventually turn the entire moon red with rust. So that is a possibility. I also know that my God can part oceans, provide dry ground and do amazing things like make the sun stand still in the heavens until the enemies were defeated properly. He can do incredible things as he pleases. Why? Because he is God. So again, this is one more option for us seeing things lining up towards scriptural references about the end times. And it's exciting. And yet, we still don't know how the Lord will do these things because he is God. And his ways are above our ways. His thoughts above our thoughts. When we're up there, we'll see and understand and know exactly what's coming. And our little minds will be blown again. If not for glorified bodies, we probably wouldn't survive the information inflow that we'll be receiving. I, for one, am extremely excited about that moment when we can stand with Yeshua by our sides and just know what's going on properly, not guess, and see what God is doing, the works of his hands. His great plan unfolding right in front of us. It is going to be epic, epic, and it is so, so soon. So keep looking up. The moon will turn to blood and the sun shall be turned into darkness. Again, signs in the heavens as he has been using them for the reason he created them from the beginning to the end. God bless. Keep looking up. Shalom.